Hello salt and pepper labradoodle puppy families. Today's video is your allocation video. This is the video you have been waiting for for what seems like forever, I'm sure. In today's video, we are going to go through each of the puppies in birth order. We're going to tell you a little bit about what each family was hoping to find in their new labradoodle puppy and why this puppy has chosen the family to go home with forever. Now part of our comments that you'll be hearing today are from our external assessor. And we have an outside person who comes and does assessments of the puppies to give us an independent and unbiased opinion of the puppies. She does many of the same sorts of tests as we do, uh, but she's never met the puppies before. She meets them in a location where they've never been before within our home, and she does a series of exercises with them. And then she rates them all, gives them a score, and then she gives us notes on them. So this is how we help to confirm what our thoughts are and make sure that we are making the best selection, the best match between you and the best Australian Labradoodle puppy for your family. So we are going to start now and we're going to start with Green Collar Boy because he is this gorgeous gleaming ebony puppy who is the first born in this litter. And Green Collar is going to have two homes. He is going to be joining Nick and Marge in Salt Spring Island and in Vancouver. Nick and Marge have two homes and they are accomplished and experienced dog owners. They were looking for a companion during their retirement. Nick is still quite active so he wanted a puppy who was going to join him on his walks and going all over Salt Spring Island and all around Vancouver together with them. So we needed a puppy who was going to be good for both Salt Spring Island life and for Metro Vancouver life. And that is this little angel here. And Green Collar has the name Green Collar is now Tucker. And Tucker was described as the perfect puppy by our outside assessor cat today. She said he is just sweet, gentle, loving, and a very strong service dog candidate. So if in the future ever Marge and Nick you want to do any work with Tucker in a service dog capacity, you've got the right puppy here for you. He is also not just sweet and gentle. He is so much fun. He is playful and happy, super adaptable. He's not going to have any trouble whatsoever moving from the house on Salt Spring over to the home in Vancouver. He's just happy wherever he is, completely unflappable. He's an adventurous sort of guy, but he's also very affectionate and cuddly. And you can see how beautifully calm and well behaved he is while we're doing this little bit of the video here. He lives to please. He's very quick to understand what you're asking of him and learn what's needed. And his whole goal in life is to do whatever it is you would like him to do. So that's our handsome ebony boy, Tucker off to join Nick and Marge on Salt Spring Island and in Vancouver. Hey Tucker, that's my boy, there you go. And next we have Orange Collar. There we go, there we go Tuck. Orange Collar is going to be going on a little bit of a trip. Orange Collar is going to be flying over the Rockies and joining Lori and Jeff in Calgary, yes. Now Lori and Jeff, were the very first family I ever placed an Australian Labradoodle with. So it's so important to me that now they're back for their second Labradoodle puppy with us uh, 16, almost 17 years later. We're delighted that they followed us all the way over to Vancouver Island from Calgary and we think we've got just a superstar here for you guys. Orange Collar has a name. His name is RJ, and that is for Rusty Jr. Uh, Lori and Jess' first dog's name was Rusty. They adored him. He was smart, intelligent, a fantastic member of the family, and he was uh, really good with their boys when they're young. Now their boys are grown up, they're adults, uh, so the, what they need in the family is slightly different, but I think Rusty would be tremendously proud to have RJ carry on his tradition 
have a wonderful Australian Labradoodle family dog for you. Jeff and Lori were looking for a puppy who was smart, loving, great with people and children, okay to be on their own here and there because Lori does still work a couple of days a week and good in crowds. So RJ, he is a confident guy. He just embraces the world and takes everything in. A wonderful companion for a family who enjoys doing things together and also it, when you get together with groups of people. He's an independent type of fellow, so he is going to be okay on those days when you go to work, Lori. He will, of course, need someone to come in and say hi to him as, an, as a baby, but once he gets older, he'll be okay for a few hours on his own. He's the type of a uh, puppy who really is going to benefit from a training approach that's called cooperative care. And that's where we let the puppy have a bit of ownership and control over their lives, where they get to have a say and make some choices and have the ability to say no, they don't want to do something. And this type of training results in a dog who eagerly embraces things that some dogs find unpleasant. Things like going to the vet, the groomer, having their nails done, that sort of thing. So when you're booking for your trainer in Calgary, uh, ch check out and look for one that offers cooperative care training. I thought, oh, yes, you're such a good boy. But he's going to be great. He's going to do fine in the plane ride. Uh, RJ is in Head Start. Uh, he's complimentary for all of our families who get their second puppies. And so he is going to have lots and lots of flight bag training. You can see he's very affectionate. He's super cuddly. He loves people. And he gives wonderful kisses. Some of the best kisses. Right, RJ? So that's our RJ off to join Lori and Jeff in Cal. Calgary. And that brings us, oops, you got your paw on my microphone there. There we go. That brings us to Purple Collar Girl. There you go, RJ. Purple Collar Girl is also going on a little bit of a trip and an adventure, but hers is going to be a little bit further. Perp is going all the ways to England. Yes! Purple is joining our student Beth at Lily Hill Labradoodles just outside of London where she is going to be a breeding prospect for Beth. And Purple, well, this little girl is described by all of us as highly social, a very confident puppy who is also especially sweet. She is going to absolutely love learning with her guardian family. She's got this fun, happy-go-lucky temperament. She's got lovely confirmation. She's a great example of the Australian Labradoodle breed standard. She's independent and outgoing. So that's the perfect type of temperament that we look for in our breeding prospects, especially in our potential females. They need to have a nice, strong way about them so that they can do well when they are dealing with all of the jobs and responsibilities of being a mama Labradoodle. And I think this little girl is going to make some absolutely outstanding puppies for Beth at Lily Hill in England. So that's Purple Collar, and we can't wait to hear her name, Beth, please, so we can start calling her something besides Perpy. Next, we got Pink Collar. Pink Collar Girl. Hello, sweetie. Pink Collar Girl is our beautiful ebony tuxedo girl. The little white tip on the end of her tail just makes me smile. Pink Collar is going to be living in Sydney, where she's going to be living with Brenda. Brenda is a recently retired teacher who is moving to Sydney from Vancouver. And she was looking for a puppy who was non-shedding, social, intuitive, smart, and cute. Well, uh, we got the cute factor covered, that's for sure. She wanted a puppy who was also somewhat independent and would be okay on their own from time to time. And she's really looking forward to exploring everything on Vancouver Island with her puppy, going to new places, meeting new people, going for lots of walks, enjoying the beaches and trails of Vancouver Island. Well, Brenda, I think you've got just the perfect little companion here to do that with. People are going to flock over to want to meet you because you got this really cute puppy. Now, Brenda was going to be a guardian for us. And funnily enough, Brenda, this is the girl that I had in mind to keep back as my breeding prospect. 
The only reason we decided not to proceed with that and have Brenda have Pink as her companion dog instead is just because she was just a little bit too sweet. As I was saying with Purple, we look for a dog with a very strong personality, a good amount of confidence to be a mama dog. And this girl is just a little bit too soft, which is a great thing for a pet, but not ideal as a breeding girl. She's really going to enjoy living with you, Brenda, and being moderately active. I think her level of and desire for activity is going to match yours just perfectly. This incredible gentleness that she has is why I matched her with you, Brenda, because I know you have missed working with the kids since you've retired from school and have some ideas that perhaps you'll do some volunteer work or something with children in the future. And Miss Pinky is just the perfect, perfect dog for that type of opportunity. This little girl loves to cuddle. She forms extraordinarily deep bonds of a very, very loyal puppy. And she's gonna be super easy to learn with. She just wants to do whatever you like. She's very intelligent. She's got it all going on. So I'm really excited to find out what her name is going to be. When you know her name, Brenda, same with you, Beth, please post the names in the comments below so we can all see what they are. And that's our little pinky collar girl joining to, going to join Brenda in Sydney. Then next we have our sweet little red collar girl. Here we go, little pinky. Red collar girl is going to be at a different end of Vancouver Island. She is going to be living in Nanaimo with Maya and Jake. Now, Maya and Jake, this is their first dog together, and they were looking for a girl that had really nice temperament, easy to train, a dog who enjoyed snuggles and playing with them, and a dog that was going to be okay going to doggy daycare because Maya works in a doggy daycare. Care. So, I mean, how perfect can that be? You have the perfect job when you have a dog. And Red Collar probably has a name. My and Jake are thinking about calling her Elsie, which I think actually suits her quite nicely. Elsie is environmentally confident and thoughtful. So that means she can go into any different type of environment situation, be re relatively confident and secure, and she'll sit back and she'll just look things over, observe, and then she will proceed to go ahead and do what she wants to do. This is not a shy puppy. Sometimes people make a mistake when a puppy is thoughtful and think they're timid or shy because they don't barge in right away. This is just a thoughtful puppy, a puppy who likes to assess things before jumping in with all four feet. She's a sweet girl, extraordinarily gentle with everyone she meets. And again, this is a very loyal puppy. She just gives her entire heart to you. She's devoted, very eager to please. She's super trusting. So it's going to be really important that she always knows she can depend on you, Maya and Jake, trust you, and that you'll always have her back. Super easy dog for a first dog. She's going to love going to that doggy daycare with you, Maya. And she'll also be great for working at home, Jake, if you're working at home ever, because she is able to entertain herself. She's a lovely, quiet girl. She's going to make a great addition to your family. So that's Elsie, often in Nanaimo with Maya and Jake. And that leads us to Black Collar Girl. And Black Collar Girl is also going to be going on an airplane. She is going in an opposite direction from little Orange Collar RJ, though. She is headed south because she is going to be going to just outside San Francisco. Now, this, uh, before we say anything, you can tell um, this might be the kisser here. Reynolds says this is the puppy who can't hold her liquor. Oh my goodness, is she affectionate? and kissy and this little black collar cutie pie is going to join Leah and Mark and they live just outside of the Bay Area in California this is also their first dog and they are looking for a dog who would be independent enjoy going new places traveling with them and also their complex they get together once a week and everybody brings their dogs and everybody gets together. And so they wanted a dog who would fit into that type of social environment as well as doing patio dining with them. 
and a laid back girl who was not particularly vocal because they do live in the townhouse, but they also wanted one that enjoyed listening to the piano. Yeah, don't you just like the piano? So black collar girl, she doesn't have a name yet. Our assessor cat said that she is the human social butterfly. She loves people, as you can see. So getting together for those complex gatherings, going for outdoor dining, travel opportunities, all of those things are going to be right up her alley and things that she just loves doing. Endless kisses. So don't introduce her to anyone who doesn't like kisses. Watch out for earrings with this girl because she's just licky, 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 licky. Yes, you are. That's you. She's neutral and confident in new environments, which is exactly what you want when you have a dog who's going to be going to different places that you're traveling with or that you're going to be going to your complex get-togethers and for outdoor dining. This is a dog who will sit and enjoy the experience. She'll just want to kiss everybody, but she's not going to be barking or forward. She's also quite happy just to sit with you and watch these new people. She's a quieter puppy. I don't think I've heard her make any sounds yet. Very gentle and it's just going to be a cinch to learn with her. So a great choice for a first dog together. And we've already started with the piano playlist because in our other litter we also have a dog uh, going to a family where the piano is played. So we have lots of piano music going on for all of the dogs. They're all going to be big piano music fans. So that's everybody in our salt and pepper litter. We're not going to talk about anything else. All of your questions, uh, anything that we haven't gone over yet, those are all going to be answered. I'm going to just give her back to Renan here so she doesn't squirm out of my arms. Those will be all answered in our upcoming Zoom session. And we would love to hear your comments, have you comment below the video, especially with your names. If you enjoyed this allocation video, please give us a thumbs up. And we thank you so much for joining us on the journey for the salt and pepper puppies. We hope you've enjoyed the past seven episodes and watching the puppies grow from being just born to now where they're pretty much ready to go to their new families. And we'll see you all again with our other litters. Thanks for watching.